Today we're doing an unboxing slash review for my close quarter combat shotgun MA87SA model. Sawed off combat model. Those two. Now, <clears throat> opening the box, it comes with an extended magazine that holds 120 rounds. Silica gel! And the shotgun itself, which comes with a low cap magazine that holds about 13, 14 rounds. Bumps in. And under here, the instructions and the unjamming around. Here is my brother for the detailed review for the gun itself. UTG Everlast UQB Shotgun is, I think, a really good gun for a little backup if you're in a war and if you really need it because it shoots accurately, pretty powerful with a velocity of around 300 to 330 FPS. And it shoots pretty far because I just tested it outside. It looked like it shot about 120 feet for range. This gun, it feels really nice and sounds really nice when you pump it, which my brother already pumped it, but listen. I mean, it doesn't sound so good. It's like, it's, it's an airsoft gun. Obviously, it's not going to sound amazing when you shoot it, but anyway, besides the point, the gun sounds good and looks really cool when you cock it because it is a shotgun. Now, the magazine is is uh, put in with the feeder out front. And you take out the magazine by pressing the button that's on the magazine. So the mag release isn't on the gun. Your hop up is located right here. You can adjust it for high and low. Uh, the one, the few things I don't like about this gun it doesn't have sights. I know most shotguns don't have sights. But I just think that this gun is pretty accurate enough that if it were to have sights, it would be a better gun. And it is it is a CQB gun. But I know it's CQB, but still I think still it can use some kind of sight. The only kind of sight that you do have is the rail and on top and that's not really enough. Also, one thing that's cool about the gun is how the front is metal, but the bad part about that is that the, the back really isn't. So, the way it's kind of, when you first pick up the gun, you'll notice that, that it'll go down this way. You'll notice that the weight isn't really balanced as well. Uh, the safety on the gun is located by the trigger. That's pretty obvious. Uh, the safety is actually pretty good. It even says on the gun... Push for safe on. Probably can't see it. Well, it says it right there. Right here. Where my feet is. Um, it also has two, I'd say around two inch or three inch rails on the side. So you can always put your flashlight in case if you're in a dark room. Um, it had a front sling mount. I don't know where it went. Uh, Actually, didn't come with one. Okay, I'm thinking of a different shotgun then. But, anyway, now... So fun, Joe. Now, I'd uh, like to talk about the mags. It comes with a mid-cap and a high-cap. The high-cap is good, but what you don't do is feed it in through here as if it were a mid-cap to use the door. My brother did that. He put it in the wrong way, and then it broke. So, you'll wind it. It'll... It's just not working right. He just messed it up. Now, the only thing that still works is mid-cap. And these magazines, you can easily buy spares. For a fair amount of money. So you can always get a spare. The high cap holds around 180 rounds. The mid cap holds around 15, 13 rounds. I just had to get that air out. Now, this gun, like I probably said earlier, shoots around 300-330 FPS. Range is pretty good. I think you can do a little more than CQB, honestly. 
It could be backup for a field game. A backup. Not a mean weapon. If you were to put a red dot on it. Because honestly, this gun is pretty darn accurate. I, I honestly like this. Okay. That is the review for the UTG CQB Combat Sawed Off Shotgun. I'm Anthony from DC Airsoft Post Out. Remember, comment, favorite, thumbs up, and subscribe.